Hello there guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today I want to talk about feeling is the secret, all right? And so what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about some of the lessons behind it. I've read the book so many times so you can now just use this video as your go-to guide of feeling is the secret to fully understand what Neville Goddard meant. Before I get into that though, please do like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find this video helpful. It would be really amazing if you could do that. It helps the video to be seen by more and more people and change more lives. Also, join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, which is linked in the description, where I have other content that I put out there and help many others. The last thing, guys, is if you stick around, there's something I want five people for a special thing that I have planned in the new year. So stick around to the end and find out what that is. Before we go into this, though, I have written down a few of my favorite quotes from Feeling is the Secret, but I wanted to leave those to the end and help them to tell the story of what I want to get into in this message today. Basically, Neville Goddard, one of the wisest, most clever, beautiful teachers of the law of assumption or manifestation as a whole. Obviously, we can talk about Neville Goddard, where he says, wonderfully, effortlessly, he says, God lives in our own wonderful human imagination. Now, he was someone who loved the idea of seeing the end, seeing the wish fulfilled, living from that end. And I have thought, thought long and hard over the years of what that truly means. Now, there's a few things that people seem to get wrong when it comes to feeling is the secret and what the message is that Neville Goddard is trying to say in the law of assumption. So what we tend to hear is the word feeling. And so he says, get into a relaxed state, a peaceful state, just as you go to sleep, start to visualize and imagine yourself at the end result, you know? And then what happens is when I found this old question and answer, from Neville Goddard, a man said, well, I find it hard as I'm getting tired, getting towards the end of, you know, falling asleep to stay in the feeling of that gratitude or that feeling of that high emotion. Neville Goddard doesn't even breathe. And he says, when did I ever say it was about feeling? I said it was about acceptance. And this is massive, right? Because so many people that I coach, who are doing, uh, you know, Joe Despender's work or other people's work, they hear so much about living gratitude, live in this feeling, live in this feeling, high vibe, high frequency, high this, high that. At the end of the day, you don't get what you necessarily feel, you get what you accept to be true. <laughs> and that is the key to feeling is the secret. The feeling of acceptance rather than the feeling of immense emotion. You see, you can sit in your imagery, right, of your, of your end result with an intense emotion and still wake up from that feeling and go, but I don't have it yet. What's gonna happen then? Nothing, because your because you're greater of two thoughts is that you don't have it yet. You know, so it's not about feeling. And that's one of those main key steps that I want you to take from what I'm telling you about feeling is a secret, from reading it over and over again, listening to thousands of lectures, listening to hundreds of hours of, of lectures and talks from the man himself. You do not have to feel it, you have to accept it. Now to accept it will require some level of change of feeling. But it isn't about living in that space the whole time. So now let's step into the law of assumption. To assume and live in the assumed feeling of the wish fulfilled. Would You have to ask yourself, how would I feel then? Well, many people are out there spouting that you must feel grateful, uh, loving, joyful. Yes, all of those feelings are wonderful. But the truth is, is that the underlying feeling you must feel is peace, ease, flow. Because think about it like this. Once you uh, put out your intention, you start to imagine, you start to live from the assumed feeling of the wish fulfilled. If I said to you now, right, imagine yourself in 10 years time. Imagine yourself in a year's time. You are now wealthier than you could ever have imagined. 
at some point that is going to be your natural state of being. So it's going to feel very natural to be wealthy. The moment that it feels natural, you're going to feel peace around having that. So let's say, for example, you bought a uh, 10 grand a night hotel, $10,000 a night hotel. If you are someone who was very wealthy, that same feeling of 10 grand is the same feeling as someone spending 10 pound. Do you see what I mean? $10. So there's no real emotion behind spending $10, is it? There's no real sense of, oh, I'm so lucky. Now, you may walk into that room and go, wow, this is beautiful. But when opulence is your natural state of being, it's going to feel very natural to be in there. Okay? Now, let's talk about that for a moment and start to understand then. So once we've imagined it, we just need to accept that it is fact. Accept that even though my senses may deny me it now, I know that it's done. I just know now. So that's it. I just intend it to be done and it's done. Now I just know that life is flowing me in that direction so I can let go. I can let go and surrender now. So actually what we're teaching underneath it all is a, is a bigger feeling of surrender than anything else, okay? So what I'm going to talk about now though is a few of the quotes that I, I love from Neville Goddard and feeling is a secret. You are already that which you want to be and your refusal to believe this is the only reason you do not see it. So that, again, is why I want to bring it to your attention. Once you get to the end feeling, yeah, it's <clears throat> once you've imagined it, it's done. You're already the successful person. You're already healed. It's our refusal to truly accept it what is belief but acceptance you know like i said i believe in god well, i accept that god is there that's what it is you see what i mean now instead of believing in god or in jesus one of them believe you are god or jesus <laughs> i love that so much right so let's think about that so we are made in the image and likeness of god and jesus so we are the creator we are the enlightened person underneath it you see so you have to realize that the where the divine lives is in our mind in our subconscious mind in our wonderful imagination to use the human imagination is to speak to the subconscious mind because like we know scientifically if you imagine something your mind doesn't know whether it's real or imagined we are literally just living in a projection of our imagination anyway right now you know, it is scientifically proven that our mind is filling in the gaps from our vision of our eyes. That it doesn't take, our mind just fills in those gaps. It cuts out my nose. You know, I'm looking at myself in the camera now because I'm filming on my phone. It cuts out my nose. I don't see it now unless I, I become aware of it. Now I'm aware of it, I can see it a little bit. Do you see what I mean? So I'm just letting you to know. I'm just wanting you to know all of this, okay? You would never attract that which you want, but always attract that which you are conscious of being. I mean, that is an interesting one, isn't it? You never attract what you want. So sometimes, that's why I have to say to people, sometimes when you're in this state of being, yeah, where you're like, I must, I must feel grateful for my $10,000 a month, you know? It's like, I've earned 10000 a month. You know, in the part after a while of that hitting my bank, it's a lovely amount, you know, it's a lovely feeling, but it's just very natural and very easy, you know. So it's like if I'm, I weren't sitting there with uh, intense gratitude every month when it was hitting, or every week when I was getting the weekly fees, you know, when it was hitting, you know, uh, the first few weeks, yeah, it felt really good, but then it just felt like my natural state. Now I'm at someone who. Uh, has an access to a, a good amount of money each month. You know what I mean? So it's like you attract which you are conscious of being. So it was like now my I'd raised my consciousness to someone who could easily pay for my friends' lunches and look after people and buy lovely gifts and, and be uh, very giving. And these are all attributes that we can have now. You know, we do not need to... Uh, uh, over intensify it you know 
Okay, sleep is the door into heaven. What you take in as feeling, you bring out as a condition, action or object in space. So sleep in the feeling of the wish fulfilled, as in consciousness, so on earth. As in consciousness, so on earth. You know, that's like the, the saying, as in heaven, so on earth. You know, heaven is meant to, is sometimes symbolized as our higher consciousness. So what he's saying is, and, and what the truth of that matter is, is that actually, yes, before you go to sleep at night, you are going through the brain waves into your subconscious mind, you know? So what it is, is you are reprogram reprogramming that deeper part of your mind to success, you know? So it, it just cannot help but bring you that fulfilled wish. It also is the connection to the source, to God. So the deeper mind must be impregnated with the idea. It must be the greater idea of, the, of your subconscious mind believes the greater of two ideas. So what you want to do is you want to impregnate the mind with the idea. But the thing is, then you don't keep going back and correcting the idea and doing that. Just have an idea in your mind. In six months' time, I want to be earning da-da-da-da-da. Yeah? So you impregnate that idea in your mind. I am someone who earns this much. I am relaxed in that idea. It is effortless for me to have that. The vision of it feels natural. See what I'm saying? So if we go too intense with the feeling all the time, we're actually in the end, we start to go in the energy of not being it. Because after a while, natural human evolution is that we don't feel grateful for the things that we know to be ours already all the time. At the end of the day, I don't every day wake up and, and feel grateful for my lungs very naturally. You know, they breathe for me without me even thinking. But I, now that I think about it, I'm very grateful for that. But you see, I take it for given. Like you will take your wealth for given. Like you will take your health for given. I walk to work three miles a day. I take that as a given, that I can do that. So there isn't a sense of intense gratitude. It's more of a lovely knowing that my legs can handle that and they will take me to that place, okay? So we must learn and we must know. You know, so just put about this through your ability to think and feel you have dominion over all creation. What that means then is like to feel right to feel is to embody is to conceptualize content conceptualize. <laughs> so when you feel something, it's like I'm feeling this laptop now. I just feel it. I know it. I know it's solid. You know, I have a knowing. So I want you to push back a little bit on it being so intensely emotional, you know? It's more like feeling a state of being. You know, he talks about states a lot in the book. Feel the state of abundance. The state of abundance is just, what is it really? It's freedom, ease, flow, effortlessness, gentleness, you know, um, and everything's just taken care of. What's the feeling of health? Again, it's freedom, ease, trust, you know? What's the feeling of love? It's the feeling of connection, um, oneness, love, you know, beautifulness, you know, just these are the feelings. So none of it has to go intense, it just needs to be a deep knowing. Like I would say to people, your inner self talk right now, I deserve and accept love. I am abundant. I love my abundant life. These are the steps that we need to take. I know that this video is going to help many of you who have been trying too hard, but you need to realize you don't need to try hard. All you need to do is to be it. And to be it is just to accept it. To accept it is to live in peace in the idea that it's done. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Thank you so much. Now, for those of you who have stuck to the end, I'm looking for five people who want to change their life in 2024. If this video has helped you, well, then jump on board because there is only five spots left. And I'm talking about my three-month life changer. You're going to get one-to-one -one coaching, group coaching, um, 64 videos of deep dive coaching, online coaching as well. And you also have a WhatsApp support from me. So who's jumping on board? That link will be pinned in the comments. I'll see you very soon, guys. Take care. Thanks again. Bye.